barbecuing, whether for the family or a larger gathering, is a must during the summer. But it's not always great for the environment. So Julia is back with some hacks to make your barbecue more eco-friendly. Hey, Jules. Hey, Trace. You know what? Honestly, barbecue season is my favorite season of all. But as you said, it's maybe not the most sustainable all the time. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is what we call green grilling. What is green grilling? It's basically looking at how you grill, what you grill, how you serve it, and how you clean it up, and trying to make it as sustainable as possible. There was a UK study, honestly, Tracy, that a four-person barbecue would create more carbon dioxide than a family 130-kilometer drive. Mm. Okay, so that's some crazy numbers there. So there are tips and tricks that we can do to make it a little bit better for the planet and lower your carbon footprint but still have fun of course still have fun yes okay where do we begin okay let's start with the grill okay there is so many different options out there that you can find right now obviously like your gas grill a car, um, charcoal even electric solar is out there but you know what you want to find the one that's the best now Tracy I do know that some die-hard you know old-school grill like that's what you remember right sitting in the backyard and the charcoal going and the and the lighter fluid and dad burning all your burgers <laughs> so I mean as great memory as that is that's actually actually the worst barbecue that you can use. Uh, you know, it will create three times the amount of greenhouse gas than a, than a natural gas barbecue. But if you are going to go with the charcoal, because I do respect that, I understand that people need that, let's go with a better charcoal. You know, go with something like it's a lump charcoal, which is m more natural. There's the best on the market I love is the Big Green Egg. This is a Canadian product, has no chemicals. It's really much better. Okay. Hey, I'd love to hear about these options. That is great. So now we've got the grill ready to go. What are we going to do for food? All right, Tracy, this is it. We want to make the vegetable the star of the show. And Trace, I'm going to show you how to make my super famous steak, cauliflower steak. Ooh, okay. I want to know how we make this steak. I'm big on cauliflower for almost anything, but I have yet to do a cauliflower steak. How do we make it? <laughs> okay. Right, Tracy? I don't know if you've seen this on social media, but it's the cauliflower talking to her therapist because she has an identity crisis. Like, I was fine when I was pizza, but how did I become rice? And now I'm going to make her steak. So funny. Okay, so Trace, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it like this, and your first cut is always going to sort of fall apart. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But then what you want to do is cut at least an inch thick. Okay, that's a nice thick slice. What do we do next? Okay, now what we want to do is we want to marinate these little steaks here. So but the trick that I have, this is my favorite hack, Trace, is instead of using a marinade or creating a marinade, I use salad dressing. Shh. Mm -hmm. So it's so easy. So this is a great one. This has uh, got the, you know, citrus. It's a grapefruit ginger from Hellman's. But the trick is, Trace, put it in a bowl so nobody knows what you're doing here. <laughs> and it looks like you've made this marinade from scratch. It's totally plant-based. Anyways, then you're just going to spread it on here cover it over and then you're really just going to pop them on the grill and it's super easy like that and again they're going the grill like this this little electric grill I got oh that guy's hot let me move him over like that just a sec there and there you go babe about 20 minutes and then my other one little tip about the cauliflower steak don't flip it too often because mm -hmm. it kind of falls apart you got to be really careful be committed once and then back yes okay so we've got our grill <laughs> we've got our cauliflower steaks what is next, my friend? Okay, this is just a really quick one, Tracy. This is something that's my biggest pet peeve on how we serve a barbecue. Why? Because we're outside, do we have to use plastic? I know, I take big risks in my life. I bring out plates. <laughs> yes, they might break, but that's okay. You know, I mean, I know some people love their plastic outside, but I'm just saying, maybe open up your ideas and think of going thrifting so you can have these fun plates that if they did break, it's not the end of the world. It's cloth, napkins, these ones are beautiful from Ten & Co. And another great Canadian company. So again, just open your eyes. Open your eyes. You don't need to have plastic. <laughs> I'm right with you there. And I know you had one little last uh, 
trick you wanted oh. to show us. Uh, a cocktail that you like out there when you barbecue? Okay, look, I'm just gonna make this one really, really fast because you know what? You can have cocktails and they can be sustainable. This is one of my new favorite finds. It's the Flora Kenya and it's a sustainable rum, Tracy. Ooh. It's a carbon neutral company, all natural, so good. So basically, rum punch. Take any juice you have. No one's, no one's got, you know, no one's gonna judge you. Dump all your juices into a pitcher, add some rum, maybe more rum, maybe a little more rum, as much <laughs> rum as you need, <laughs> and you are off. There you go. Saving the planet one steak, cocktail, and plate at a time. I like how you save the planet. It looks very appealing. <laughs> Jules, thank you so much. Cheers to you, and thank you for sweating it out out there. It's so hot today, and we love it. <laughs> I know it is. Really great ideas that are so easy for all of us to put into practice. She is so 